In this video, you will learn how to configure your register settings. Go to your passport register and log into the highest level access. Once you log in, select the following tabs. First, manage your workstation, then setup, followed by store, then back office, and finally, back office interface. Click on the drop down menu label interface format and select the option NAX XML V3.4. Under the Document Generation tab, ensure the entire Store Close column is cross-marked and the entire Shift Close column is blank. Don't forget to scroll down all the way to the bottom to mark all Store Close options and uncheck all Shift Closed options. Now, at the bottom, make sure you check mark the following options. Generate Transaction Level Details PJR Generate Acknowledgement Files Drop UPC Check Digit Next, click on the XML Gateway Polling Options tab and check mark the following option. Enable XML Gateway File Polling. Then enter the credentials along with the following paths. For username, enter Back Office. Make sure the B and the O are capital. For the password, also enter Back Office. Make sure the B and the O are capital. The directory path to pull XML files from is Z colon backslash BO, the B is capital, out, O is capital, box, B is capital, backslash. The directory path to pull XML files to is Z colon, backslash, BO, the B is capital, in, I is capital, box, B is capital, backslash. Next, go to the XML file import options tab and select the option, the back office sends a value of zero for the based item in the POS code modifier tag. Click on save on the right side and confirm the changes by clicking on OK, yes, and yes on the top. Once done, you'll be directed to the POS screen. Otherwise, click on the POS screen when done. At this point, you are done with the passport back office settings. If you have any questions, visit our frequently asked question center or call C-Store Pro at 1-866-265-5826.